Welcome to the first module of this R Bootcamp. The name of this module is Introduction to Programming Concepts. I am the faculty member, Dr. Nikhil Srinivasan, that will be covering material introducing fundamental concepts of programming in this module. In this module, we will be taking a look at two topics. We will be introducing ourselves to R and R Studio. Secondly, we will be covering programming concepts that help in writing R code. So let's start off by asking the question, what is R? R is a programming language. Specifically, R is used for statistical computing and data analytics. It has a variety of features that get used for the purpose of data analysis. R was a programming language that was introduced in the early 1990s. The current version of R is R 4.1. R is widely used in the domain of data analytics and graphics, but also gets used to analyze domain-specific data ranging from financial transactions to maritime biology. R is an interpreted language, and that means that each instruction that one writes in the R program is executed individually. The reason R is considered to be the data analytics language of choice is because it can be extended to new domains and new features can be built into it through the use of packages. Packages are software extensions that individuals and developers write for R and can be employed within R scripts and programs. R Studio is an application that goes hand in hand with R. What is RStudio? RStudio is an IDE that is used to write R code. Just like one uses an IDE to create project reports, uh, such as Microsoft Word, Apple Pages, OpenOffice, RStudio is an integrated development environment that is used to write R code. There are specific sections to RStudio. These sections include the code editor, the code editor is a space within the R Studio environment where one creates R scripts. Another section within the R Studio environment is the console. The console is the environment that allows us to execute these script instructions or write standalone instructions as needed. We also have a global environment within R Studio. The global environment within R Studio allows us to examine the state of data and variables that we might have in our R script. We also have a files, packages, and plots section within R Studio. The file, packages, and plots section within R Studio allows us to examine the local environment. The local environment is the state of the computer, such as the files, the location of the files, any packages that are installed and currently loaded, and additionally, any plots that we might want to display based on the execution of our R script. Let us now take a look at the installation of these two pieces of software, R and RStudio. How do you go ahead and install R? Well, first of all, in your browser, you open up the website www.r-project.org. Once you do that, click on the link to download R. Once you've clicked on the link to download R, you will find a list of mirrors. Mirrors are places online that are hosting the file required to install R on your computer. Pick a mirror, any mirror, and once you've picked your mirror, you will be then directed to select the installation package corresponding to your operating system. Once you've picked the appropriate operating system, Linux, Mac, or Windows, you can then go ahead and download the package and install R following the basic instructions that are provided as part of the installation process. Once you have installed R, the next step is to install RStudio. How do you install RStudio? To install RStudio, in your browser, open up a tab to www.rstudio.com. Once you have opened 
that link up, click on the download icon that is present in the top right menu bar. Once you have clicked download, you will be directed to a page where you see several different versions of RStudio. Click on the download for RStudio desktop. This is the free version of RStudio. Once you have clicked on download for RStudio desktop, download the version that corresponds to the operating system that you have. Once you have downloaded RStudio, go right ahead and install it by following the default instructions that are present as part of the installation package.